Well, home sales in South Florida are getting hit by the government shutdown. When the money stopped in Washington, it really didn't seem to affect us much here unless you're trying to buy or sell a house. News Channel 5's Matt Sesney is in Northern Palm Beach County to explain what happens now. The government shutdown took down the national flood insurance program for about a week, and once that happened, it seemed no one was able to close on a home sale in Florida. And now it may end up costing. Florida home buyers. I was mayhem for a brief second, and you know, all of us didn't really know what to do. Holly Meyer was like many real estate agents who didn't see this coming. The federal government shut down, nearly shutting down the closing of home sales. They came to a halt once the federal flood insurance program stopped accepting new policies. In a place where storms are the norm, flood insurance is vital, and the lack of it crippled real estate sales. The messaging was vague and um, we weren't sure how long it was going to last. So a lot of us, you know, realtors and title companies and lenders were calling each other trying to figure out, you know, what the next steps were. The next steps came from Congress, which decided to take some last minute action to fund the flood insurance program and try to get home sales back on track. But crucial deadlines were missed. A lot of closings uh, ended up pushing into the new year, which means that homeowners can't now apply for homestead for the following year, which is a problem. Um, so I think there's a lot of untangling that is still happening now that we know, you know, what the um, what the result is. And without that homestead exemption, Holly Meyer says it could end up costing Florida home buyers thousands. In North Palm Beach County, Matt Sesney, WPTV News Channel 5.